The Greek name is the compound of deuteros, meaning second, and nomos, meaning law, because this fifth book of Moses includes a restatement of the law for the new generation preparing to enter Canaan. But obviously God's word is not redundant, and Deuteronomy is more than a reiterating of what can be found in the other books of the Pentateuch. Regarding time, the book contains 40 years of history encapsulating in about 40 days of actual events and anticipates prophetically Israel's future up to the golden days of Messiah's reign. The wasted 38 years of wandering are made clear by the forceful reminder in Deuteronomy 1 verse 2. There are 11 days journey from Horeb by the way of Mount Seir to Kadesh Barnea. Yet this is not simply a recounting of the facts as found in the rest of the Pentateuch. In the form of 10 exhortations by Moses, it looks back to their past behavior and the looks forward with holy expectation for them as they enter the promised land. Thus certain ideas are often repeated. The land over a hundred times, given a reminder of God's goodness 75 times. This day, the need for present choice in spite of the last generation's failure 70 times and possess a call for the response of obedient faith to the promise of God nearly 70 times. 10 times they're warned negatively not to forget and 14 times they're told positively to remember. A key passage is chapter 6 which includes the daily prayer of the Jews called the Shema in verse 4. There we see God's word percolating into every area of life, in the heart, in the home, in the habits of life, in our hands and in our houses, as well as before the heathen. How necessary it is to grasp, if not the details, certainly the grand principles of this book. Past mistakes may warn us, but only by giving our hearts to love and obey the Lord can we prepare for the battles ahead. If I truly know him, I will love him. And if I love him, I will trust him. And if I trust him, I will obey him. We also learn that the time to prepare for conflict is before it strikes, not in it. The time to teach our children is in their childhood. The time to get alone with God is before the day begins. The time to seek his aid is before we try to do it ourselves. Simply put, the principle running through the whole book is this, God first. Deuteronomy is referred to over 80 times in the New Testament and was quoted by the Lord Jesus more than any other Old Testament book. He found it especially suitable as a shield of faith with which to quench the fiery darts of the wicked one during his temptation, also in the desert. Like the books of Exodus and Numbers, Deuteronomy may be divided into three sections. Its first part, chapters 1 to 4, is historical, recounting God's goodness in the past. The second part, chapters 5 to 26, is legislative, calling Israel to obedience in the present. The third part, chapters 27 to 34, is prophetic, looking forward to the Lord's restoration and blessing of Israel in the future. The believer will find much help here in tracing the love and grace of God in his dealings with Israel and in being reminded of the importance and blessings of the obedient life. And that's our scripture snapshot of Deuteronomy.